Ah, Valentine's Day. While this might not be a day that you typically associate with poison skeletons, I'm here to broaden your mind. Couldn't a poison skeleton be just the right thing to talk about this Valentine's Day? All those flying poison arrows, the affectionate gurgle as they walk towards... Affectionate gurgle? <laughs> the heck do they sound like? That ain't a gurgle, Mo Yang. So, the bogged. The bogged. So this, uh... <laughs> Trying to figure out why Mo Yang decides to add another skeleton variant to the game. I mean, there is a reason. So if you've been following the, uh, the general mood of the trial chambers over here, especially, let's go into survival mode to trigger them. Please give me... No! Ha! Ah, that's all it took! They're fighting now. What are you doing? He doesn't know. <laughs> anyway, there are a lot of skeleton mobs, or skeletons that hold tipped arrows. I guess what they're trying to do is replace them with the brand new bogged... All right, fight. Fight. All right, come on, bogged. Will bogged win? Come on, fight. Wow, you're so lazy. So bogged... Uh, is that the plural? They spawn here. Uh, if I'll just wait long enough. I'm sure a bogged will spawn. No bogged yet. Is that a bogged? No, that is not a bogged. It's a pillager. Is that a bogged? No, that's not a bogged. <gasps> it's a bogged! Alright, so that's a bogged. They do spawn a lot less regularly than regular skeletons, so that's a shame. Are there many bogged here? <laughs> Come on, bogged. Spawn more bogged. Go fight, fight. All right, I want to see this. Who's going to win? Will the bogged win? Or will the skeleton kill the bogged? Oh, wow, that's a shame. Now I need to find another bogged. Okay, so the reason the bogged lost is because bogged shoot a lot slower than regular skeletons. You can see that they shoot like once every three to four seconds, very slow. And their aim is supremely bad. Even though their arrows are tipped, it doesn't matter if their arrows are tipped, if those arrows don't hit you. Look at that. Like, what was that, man? Wow, I didn't even move. Bogged, being bogged down by accuracy or lack thereof. Ow. <laughs> I deserve that. And you might be wondering, why is it called a bogged? What is a bog? And what is this obsession that Moyang have with ogs? <clears throat> bog. So the reason why they called it a bogged is because bog means to eat heartily and ravenously, as in to bog in. <clears throat> Which starts to make a little bit of sense because bogs will occasionally spawn with a piece of dried kelp in their offhand and they will just bog in. That is why they are called bogs. So if I'm like super lucky, there's another one that's. Oh my god, there's another dried kelp. Anyway, so now we're seeing things like this. We got all four now. Airy skeleton, watery stray, the worldly bogged with the kelp, and the fiery wither skeleton, the only one without a bow. Don't know if you're aware of this, but wither skeletons, if spawned with a bow, will shoot arrows with fire. So those arrows are actually going to come towards me and set me ablaze if I get hit by one. Like right now. It's a little easter egg. But that got me thinking, if you spawn a bogged with a sword, will that sword set me a poisoned? Let's find out. So there's the bogged. Wow, you're left-handed. Are you gonna hit me? Hello? Oh! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Why won't he hit me? What are you doing? Oh, uh, oh, uh, wait, good try, keep going, you can do it. Oh wait, he didn't poison me. All right, let me just uh, code that in while I give you some time to actually hit me. All right, it's done. All right, now hit me. No, not with the kelp. I just got killed by kelp. There we go. Look, now I'm poisoned. But people have likened it to the cave spider, which I rather find offensive to cave spiders because 
Case spies are actually good. Case spies are agile. This dude is not. And finally, I, I kind of want to show you this. Let me just clear inventory. Ha, ah, now I have nothing bogged. So you can see there is an extra layer of skin over the bogged. So I really wanted to know what happens when you take off that skin. So there's the additional layer. And if I do that, you now we're done. So we just apply. What happens? Ah.